With violent crime increasing in Dallas, the mayor promised a new task force would help address some of those problems, but some community leaders still have questions about exactly how much a new task force will be able to accomplish. Here's Rebecca Lopez. When Mayor Eric Johnson ran for office, he said there was not a violent crime crisis in Dallas. But yesterday, he announced a task force to focus on solutions to violent crimes after a series of high-profile murders and attacks. Its mission will be to seek holistic and data-driven solutions for communities disproportionately affected by violent crime. The question is, what will yet another task force do? There are already multiple task forces looking at the same issue. Rene Martinez, former president of the League of United Latin American Citizens, is one of three men selected to lead the task force. I think what we're going to do is, is collect information, meet with people, go throughout the community, and then put together some form of recommendations and outcomes that we're going to share with the mayor. Former police chiefs David Brown and David Kunkel shared the same philosophies that police can't fight crime alone. To paraphrase one of our former police chiefs, we already asked the cops to do too much. One police association president, George Aranda, says he applauds the task force, but says part of the problem is lack of leadership and vision at the top of DPD. The task force is a, is a, is a positive step, um, but we're, we haven't changed our, our stance. Um, we, we definitely think uh, a change of leadership is, is needed, and, um, um, you know, everybody's lost right now. Um, you know, everybody's lost and asking that question, what, what are we doing, where are we at, um, and there's no answers right now. Aranda says he hopes the task force can come up with solutions, but says the problems at DPD also need to be fixed. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.